YouTube, what's good? It's Will, and I'm coming at y'all with another My Team video today. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to win a majority of your Triple Threat online games. I'm going to be giving you guys lineup tips, budget players, and players with a little bit more MT. I'm going to be giving you guys tips as I go for gameplay as well. Uh, that's enough talking out of me. Let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so we're going to actually start with... Uh, the team that is a little bit more empty. So basically, right now I have PD Demar, PD Jimmy, and PD Giannis. So I'd say my very first tip, uh, before anything else, uh, which is a lineup tip, would be to get one slasher and two shooters that can create space. Uh, the one slasher is big because you can uh, space out the floor, and if he has downhill and dimer like Giannis does. That's huge because you can kick out to the shooters and get open shots and get to the rim with ease. And for the two shooters, I'd say your two shooters should just be able to create space and have nice jump shots with good green windows, which Jamar and Jimmy have. They don't necessarily have to be opals. They can be, they can be diamonds, pink diamonds. You know, they can, they, it can be anything. Just two cards they're comfortable with, with their releases and their dribble moves. And uh, I'd say you'd be good. I'd consist your team of these three players and um, you'll be good for your first tip. Uh, I'm gonna go right into the gameplay and show you guys some gameplay tips on how I play on uh, defense and offense in the game. Let's get right to it. In the first game, uh, we are going to be playing uh, Diamond KD, Diamond Donovan Mitchell, and a Diamond Giannis. A similar team to ours, it's literally perfect for the uh, scenario. Let me show you all the gameplay. Let's get right into it. First defensive tip, would be to go no threes and then I'd um I'd actually play I'd actually decide to play off ball I like I try to get my gaps I was a little non-focused there Giannis, but that's all right uh, I try to get my gaps and just play the best help defense I can and uh, move around in the gaps that's just would be most ideal so offensive tip here would be to hit L1 twice so that just uh, makes your player give a little bit more space and then we're just gonna hop and uh, slash the pain with Giannis and get our two points. Again, he's gonna decide to bring a double. That's why you wanna have your shooters and your and uh, your spacing on the wings. And we're just gonna get two right there. We're gonna get to our corner and play a little help, help defense with Giannis. See, look at we are in the lanes right there. Almost get that steal. That's fine. Uh, he does get a decent shot with Donovan Mitchell. Uh, that's all right though. We're just gonna hit L1 and uh, pass the screen away. And I'm gonna show you guys what happens when he uh, gets beat here. So he's gonna he's gonna be impatient. We're just gonna drive. But also on that, if you're getting off balled, I want him to off ball me. But I know he probably won't. Uh, you can get your open shooters because uh, he does help. Uh, people do help off the wings, and you can get an open catch and shoot shot uh, with one of your shooters. So so he he's gonna be impatient there. We're gonna get our two points again. So if someone's on balling and you can just beat them off the drive every time, that's what I do. And then I try to get your stop. You know, he's going to shoot a terrible shot there again. Uh, controlling like your biggest guy, like Giannis on the court, is just something that is very good to do because uh, you, can get a, you can get a lot of space on triple threat because it's a lot of space to work with. So he's going to, his AI is going to help there and we're just going to almost get an open shot with Jimmy, just not get the ball. That's 100% fine. He's gonna shoot a wild one, Sean Mitchell. He's gonna make it somehow. All right, so here we're just gonna hit L1. He's gonna continue to um, on ball, which is fine. We're just gonna get him to jump. I don't know why he hasn't figured that out by now. And we're just gonna do our circle, and we're just gonna get an open shot with DeRozan. De De DeRozan, excuse me. Uh, that's why it's actually good to get uh, spacing because in uh, someone or your shooters to be able to dribble because you can get um, people lost when they're playing on ball you know you can get a lot more spacing so we're gonna play in the gap here play with Giannis here I like controlling Giannis sometimes even if he's playing on ball because he can just get steals like no one else can see we're right there you get steals I just like to control him because um it's, it's good stick skill all right so we're just gonna get free fast here and Donovan Mitchell he's not gonna be able to stop us we're gonna get an and one See, if, if someone's mostly playing on ball, you're just going to want to drive on them most of the time. Unless their AI helps themselves, then you're just going to kick it. See, I'm going to get another steal here with Giannis. I'm just 
in those lanes and those gaps is gonna get our players on the wing. Like Remember that DeRozan's actually X and not circle, so he's gonna jump again. He's gonna get another three too. Just gives a little undisciplined on defense, which is just fine for the scenario we're in. But yeah, you just wanna drive on kids who um who um you just wanna drive on kids who are on ball at the end of the day. That's all I can say about this. And if uh, his AI does help, then you got an open shot with uh, one of your shooters on the wing. And that's the perfect scenario there. So, and, uh, stay, stay in my passing lanes. You know, try to get as many steals as I can. He's going to get out to Jonathan Mitchell. He's going to shoot a decent shot, but we're not going to get hurt. He's not going to get to go. So now we're just going to kick this over to Rosen. Left us wide open. And uh, I thought that was a three. I was about to say it's game, but now that is a two. So we're just going to control Giannis here. You know, we can get a lot of space here. Or we can, we can get a lot of steals here. Also, we can get one on ball with the Rosen almost. Not quite, but Giannis can basically just move out around because not as much space on triple dart as there is 5v5. So I like this. Sometimes I like the double, but I don't honestly suggest that because it doesn't work out most of the time. Unless you have a uh, really good stick skill, which some of you guys, um, some of you guys are still learning stick, stick skill. All right, so I'll just shoot the ball here with Giannis. Uh, get a good shot, make it, and that's game. So that's 23 14. I'm gonna show you guys the budget version of this and um, just show you guys the scenarios I was just showing you guys that game. I didn't blow them out that game because I was explaining a lot. Probably should have won by a little bit more, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know um, what I do basically. Let's get right into the budget version. So for this game, uh, you can either use uh, Ben Simmons or Zion. Uh, let's just go compare them real quick. Budget squads, they're for both free cards, so if you do have them, they would work. So I'd say Zion's advantages is that he has a good three-pointer. Uh, he can handle the ball a little bit worse, which uh, and Ben Simmons can handle a little bit better, but that's all right. It is kind of good for Zion to ha uh, have the edge here because he can't shoot if you need to. But uh, it shouldn't matter too much. You can use both. Um, so they both have downhill, that's important. They also both have... They both they both do have quick first step. So yeah, both of these cards can actually uh, hold their own for the slashing curve uh, part of this. I'm just gonna use a slightly better one here. We're just gonna use Zion and we're gonna use these two cards to get right into the game. Let's do it. So in this game, we are playing Diamond Donovan Mitchell, Diamond and Jeremy Lin, and Diamond and Diamond Simmons. So I'm going to show you guys what I do, even with the budget squad, uh, compared to the um, better, a little bit better of a team, I'd say. So uh, let me show you all what I do. Let's see, let's go into the game. So on defense, I do like to use the bigger player here uh, to switch an off ball here, Miles Turner. You can get back to Ben Simmons. Ben, we can also give Ben Simmons a little bit of room before the uh, sake of the game play. We're just going to play normally. Look, if we do get that steal there, we're going to give the ball to Zion. I'm going to do my L1. What I've been doing. So he's gonna off ball. It's perfect for the scenario. I don't think we got this all off ball last game. So if he helps, we just kick it out to our open shooter. He doesn't get it to go. That's fine now. But if, if it's uh, someone you're confident in, that's always, always good. We're just gonna hit the shot with Zion there and make it a 4 3 game. Okay, so we're just gonna. You, you also don't have to always play in the lanes with, um, with Miles Turner. All right, so he does actually get a nice take. Uh, we're just gonna set up our L1, that's fine. We're down here, but that's fine. We're just gonna do what we gotta do. Get open here with Zion, get to, but we got the ball here with Zion. We're gonna do our drive, so we are gonna get the hog step to, not to go, but we are gonna grab our own rebound, kick it off the lands, and just get to. We are up 7 6 once again. So we're just gonna move around with uh, Miles Turner slide as well which is tough but we do still get the miss here all right so we actually do grab the rebound right back that's fine uh, we're just gonna get the ball here Zion. we're not gonna shoot for the sake of what we're doing here we're just gonna drive to the paint give him a hop step get two perfect all right so we're just gonna uh we're gonna on ball for a sec you can switch on obviously you don't obviously don't have to all off ball but you want to get in those lanes hit not the greatest shot there so that's why it is hard to um, get stopped sometimes but it honestly is the best defense I could have played there 9-9 we're just gonna drive here 
he's gonna foul us because he just can't hold us here. We're just gonna dribble a little bit. We are gonna get right past him. We're gonna get two. So if he does help, we are gonna have the open shooter there. That's why it's good to have two shooters there and uh, get your spacing right. But we're just gonna stay in our gap here. We're just gonna be there. We're gonna try to bait him. Just pass him to pass. He's gonna almost hit a shot right over me. We're just gonna make a stupid mistake. <laughs> So we're in our gaps here. It's all good. We can uh, switch between Zion and uh, Miles Turner here. So he does try to lob. We're not going to let that happen. Never. That's why it's good to uh, be on your off ball too. Because you can get uh, lane steals and uh, knock away lobs when you when you uh, usually can't if you're on balling. So we're just going to drive here. Give a quick kick. He is going to get a, a nice steal because Zion is going to cut in. Not at all what I wanted him to do. But it's alright. We're going to give the ball here to Zion. Just going to set up our offense. It is um, a monotonous task, task sometimes. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do to win this game. Because, trust me, sometimes you can never do anything about it. That's why I always say majority. Work from the wing. We don't always have to uh, work from the top of the key. But it is just better for spacing. Going to get a steal there. Going to get it back. I'm going to shoot there with Zion. Get our rebound back with um, Miles Turner. We're going to do a post hook. That's why it's always good to have size on the court. 16-9. Alright, so we aren't back with Miles Turner. That's alright, though. We do get a steal there. That's why it's always good to play off the ball. If you want to have enough stake, you can uh, get a lot of lean steals. You can bait a lot of kids in TTO. So we're just going to drive again. Free, uh, free dunk with Zion. 11 points. He wants to pl uh, continue to play on ball when I'm just completely destroying him in that aspect. But that's fine. Keep doing it. Basically, if you do have an open shooter, like I'm gonna have right here with Miles Turner, just uh, shoot the ball. It's fine. You don't you don't always have to set up the L L1. I also do want to make that clear. That's just if uh, you want the spacing, you want to start off your offense right in TTO. Believe it or not. So we do get another lane seal. You guys see all the lane seals we are getting. Uh, we're not gonna even hit up uh, L1 here. We're just gonna hit it over to Lance. Gonna uh, gonna make a game. Alright guys, so that's going to actually conclude the video. If you guys are new, I'd appreciate if you guys could uh, drop a like, comment, and uh, subscribe. I am going to leave all the steps and um, all the... Uh that's going to conclude the video. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.